All right, so here we go. So uh, you have the outline of your sketch done, or at least half of the outline of your sketch done, right? So what you need to do next is you need to do a revolve. So you're going to revolve, and it's going to be sketch the pen outline sketch. And then your revolve axis is going to be this axis here. And that'll give you a solid shape. Uh, remember to rename everything. I'm not going to rename it because I'm just showing Pardo how to do this again. <laughs> so I am going to hide, though, my original image so that it doesn't get in the way. So then I have this shape. So this is just a solid shape. You're going to have to do some hollowing out and some splitting. So the first thing I want to do is I want the tip. So I'm going to create a sketch on this plane, on this plane, on the front plane, or any plane perpendicular to what I'm looking at. And I'm going to actually just use a point or two on this. So I'm going to use my use tool. I'm going to use this point, right? I actually use the whole line. That's fine. And I'm going to extend this line out this direction. And I'm going to actually go the other way as well. I'm doing that because I want to make sure that I have a nice, good surface to uh, this is kind of awkward escape line. I want a nice, good surface to use as a tool to cut this in, in half or cut this, this tip off. So I'm going to rename this. I'll probably rename this like tip cutting tool. But again, I'm, this is for part of so I'm not going to rename it. So there we're going to we're going to extrude and this time we're going to use a surface extrude. So I'm going to use surface extrude and this extrusion I'm going to use is sketch 13. And notice that it creates it should have created. Let's go ahead and click on that again. So I'm going to click on the line. So it's going to be new surface and let's click on the line. And then we have a surface extrusion that's going one direction. I'm going to make it symmetric both ways, making sure that it goes through our entire part that I want to split. I click the check mark, and now I have a tool that I can use to split these two in pieces. So when I do this, I'm going to go to um, my split tool, and that's right here where it says split. Click on split, and it says parts or surfaces to uh, split, so I click on the pin. The entities to split with, I'm going to go ahead and cl click on the surface. And in this case, uh, you don't want to, you don't necessarily need to keep the tool unless you're going to use the tool to do something else. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure my keep tools is off, but I do want to keep both sides. And so now I'm going to select, and now I have two parts. I have this top part and I have this bottom part. Okay. Top part and bottom part. I also added some more splits. So another thing that I did is I took another, I did the same thing. I came here, new sketch, normal. I needed a split right, right around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this surface, use that shape. And now I'm going to split, uh, finish it, do an extrusion. I'm gonna extrude this line, but I'm doing a surface again. I want it to go both directions, so symmetric. I'm gonna click the check mark to finish the sketch. And now I'm gonna use my split tool again to split this using this tool so that now I have a top portion and a bottom portion. So here's the top, high part two, and then I have the bottom portion, the middle portion, and then the tip. Now, I need to, like say this is a rubber grip. Well, I know that this is a rubber grip. So I need to separate out this rubber grip. And so the way that I need to separate the rubber grip is by creating another surface to use to split. So I click the check mark. Uh, well, I click sketch, normal. This time I'm gonna do an offset. I'm gonna offset from the edge of the shape, some distance inward. I'd have to measure it to make sure that it's correct. But we're gonna go some distance inward, okay? Finally, I'm gonna actually hide the first sketch because it's actually getting in the way. Okay, so now I have this circle. circle. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another surface extrusion surface. That's the surface I'm going to extrude. I want it to go the other direction and I want it to go up to I want it to go up to this surface. 
So instead of being blind, I'm going to say up to face and I'm going to go up to this face. So now I have a surface here that's inside. So I'm going to use that as a tool again. Uh, I'm going to use this as a tool to do a split. So I'm going to split this object with this surface. And so now I have a cyl cylinder inside of, so I have this cylinder and I have this sleeve. Okay. So let's go ahead and make this a different color for right now. So we're going to edit appearance. We'll make this a blue color. So now this is a blue color. Now, you, what you'll notice now is that I have this top part and this bottom part, and these are going to need it to be added together, added together. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the sleeve. No, I'm going to hide. The, that's not the sleeve. I'm going to hide this rubber grip. And I have this little lip, but this is okay because I actually need it for the rubber grip. So I'm going to have to do something to this. You'll see in a second. So I need to add this part with this part. So now I'm going to do a Boolean. I'm going to add. So I'm going to do a union and I'm going to use, I don't, uh, I don't need to keep the tool in this case. I'm going to add this to this. Oops. I subtract, it should be union. So I'm going to unify those two parts together and now it's their one part. Okay. Let's go ahead and thicken this, the surface, some distance. Oops, and it's there's that, and then I add a chamfer to that. Like that. And now I have these different parts. So here's this, here's this. Here's my tip. Now the tip doesn't go the tip the for this particular type of pen, this particular type of pen, the pen actually goes the tip actually goes the barrel actually goes into the tip. So I'd add a sketch on the surface. I do an offset here some distance Off this distance cannot be created. All right, that's cool. Let me do a circle, center, bam, like that. I'll extrude this. I want to make sure it's a solid. Extrude this out. And in this case, I want to hide this, unhide this, and it's going to go into this. Okay. So now that I have this, this made, I'm going to go, I'm going to hide it. Now I have this piece that sticks out into this other piece. This should have been an add. So let's go ahead and change this to edit. And we're going to add. And we're going to merge scope. We're going to merge it with this guy right here. So now you wanted to know how to add the, the threading to it. So to add the threading, you go to the helix tool. And you click on any cil cylinder, and it will add the helix. When you're not done, you have to sweep the helix. You have to sweep a shape along the helix. So I'm going to need to create a sketch on the surface, new sketch. And I'm going to use this endpoint of my helix, which is over here. So I'm going to create a circle, small circle. On there. Finish the sketch. And now I'm going to sweep this helix or the circle along this here. And it's going to be added to it. And so it's going to look like that. Okay, once I have that done, I can unhide my tip. And so now I'm going to make sure that I have a profile that I can extrude from the tip. So I'm going to go to this part one. Uh, I'm going to use my Boolean tool. So I'm going to do a Boolean subtract. 
And the tool that I'm going to use, let's go ahead and heart part one. The tool that I'm going to use is going to be this main body. And I need to be on subtract. And the target that I'm going to use is going to be part one. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and click the check mark. What happened here? Oh, I should have clicked keep tools, edit, keep tools, keep tools. Okay, so now if you hide the sleeve and you hide the pin, you'll see that the thread is cut out of the, the tip. To hollow the tip, I'm going to create another sketch. And I'm going to create a sketch inside of here. It's going to be the center point. I need to find the center point of this circle. Go ahead and use, let me use this outside edge. So I get a center point. So I'm going to go here to here. I'm going to come in on the other side and do another sketch on the bottom. Sure, I hide my front, hide my other planes. It's not letting me select that plane, so I'm gonna have to make a plane. So we're gonna go plane offsets from this plane, this direction. And so now I have a plane on the bottom create a sketch on this plane on the bottom with the circle and let's go ahead and use this geometry again using geometries is good because you can use points so I'm going to go here to here get rid of this outside circle all right now I'm going to loft these two together. So I'm going to loft sketch 18. Let me edit sketch 18 to get rid of this outside circle. So I'm going to sketch loft sketch 18 to sketch 19. We're going to remove. So it's going to be remove loft sketch 18 to sketch 19. Remove loft. And now I have the pin tip. So if I unhide my parts, there we go. So you're gonna have to repeat that process for all the other parts that you need to create. And that's it.